So it's been almost two months since we've heard from the dying YouTubers, Extreme Games, and I'm starting to get a little bit worried, if we're being honest. Maybe they actually did die. I mean, that would be a little awkward for me, wouldn't it, after making two videos about them, calling them out for pretending that they're dying for views and subs? Yikes. Oh, hold on a second. No, they, they just uploaded yesterday. Oh, oh, no way. Imagine my surprise. Let's take a look and see how they're, uh, see how they're doing. How's it going, Extremers? It is Extreme Games here, guys, and today we are back in Australia. Finally, it's been three whole months of doctors and doctors, and we're going to tell you guys exactly what has gone down. Instant regret. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a brand new Pint of Eggnog. My name is Leon Lush, and I am just so thankful that you would decide to spend a few minutes here with me today. So Extreme Games uploaded a new video yesterday, basically breaking their silence after two months. And first of all, hallelujah, okay? Praise the Lord. This is some sort of miracle that Tommy was able to beat Vertigo and survive as long as he has. So this is fantastic news. And secondly, you know, given my history with them, I had uh, my comment section and my DMs and all my socials were all filled up with people asking me to, uh, you know, react to the video. So I was hesitant to make this video because I don't want to beat a dead horse, but so many of you guys asked me to. And honestly, this is like a, there's been like two months in between the last one. So this is more like a where are they now kind of update. And there's probably about 15% of meat left on that dead horse we can, we can beat off of. So <laughs> we can beat off of it. We can beat off the dead horse. <laughs> Anyways, what I'm getting at is I hope that we find a little bit of closure here because this will be the third and final video in the Extreme Games trilogy on my channel. Guys, before we get into this, we just want to address the haters that have been coming at us from all angles. I think that's, I think that's me. I'm one of those guys. We're not lying and we are actually sick. And that's what we're going to explain to you in this video. And I hope you enjoy our story because we're super excited to tell you from start to finish what's been going on. Now, most of you are probably up to speed with this situation, but if you are not, I'm going to link the two videos I did previously on these guys right here, which will give you a little bit of the background into, into how we got where we are right now. The Cliff Notes version is that these two YouTubers, Tom me and Johnny uploaded a video several months ago convincing their uh, audience comprised mostly of children that they were in fact dying and quitting YouTube because of that. Uh, they then went on to do a fake iPhone giveaway in the same video to incentivize these children to subscribe, turn on their notifications. They then traveled to America to see a chiropractor to heal their disease uh, that they said could cure any disease. They then got called out for their bullshit um, and then responded to that call out by doubling down on their claims and their stories and claiming that their chiropractor could still cure any disease, even cancer. Uh, they then got destroyed again by the internet and then two months goes by and here we are. So, so many of you loyal fans out there have been messaging us on Instagram and Twitter and in our comment section saying what has happened. First of all, can I just say, look at the Jesus peace drip on these two. Looking like a couple of red apostles up in here. Woo! So in this video, we're going to tell you guys exactly what has happened to Xtreme Games, Tommy and Johnny. Tommy, don't waste your energy, bro. I just filled them in on what happened. You guys basically got laughed off the internet for two months because you're a couple of slime buckets and got called out for it and you didn't know how to handle it. Uh, so basically, guys, it happened. I was sick one day. I had edema in my legs. We didn't know what it was at the time. And my so this is like deja vu of their initial response video where Johnny just goes on for three minutes trying to convince everyone that he actually does have an illness and it's just that he doesn't get it there's a disconnect here like bro johnny if you're watching this this is not why we're criticizing you we understand you're sick or have an illness but you're not terminal you're not actually dying which is what you're convincing your audience of two months ago but you weren't dying then evidenced by the fact that you're still alive right now and looking pretty healthy if i do say so myself then i went to dr bergman as you guys saw three months ago we went to dr bergman and for me, Dr. Bergman is an absolute legend. This guy is actually incredible, and he heals a lot of people daily. He does. Dr. Bergman, Gentlemen. chiropractor slash absolute legend. Now, last time we were talking to these guys, they were telling us that Dr. Bergman could pretty much cure anything, including cancer, so I have to imagine. He knows he cured everything. But after two months, that he's healed whatever kidney problems you were struggling with. Well, um, he actually helped me reduce a lot of my edema. Did he heal me fully? No. What? You're telling me a little spinal adjustment from Dr. Bergman can cure cancer, but it can't take care of your kidney disease? 
That is, uh, listen, if I'm you, I'm asking for my money back. Like I said, he's a great, great, great guy. And I tell you, if I had longer, but because we couldn't stay any longer in America, if I had longer, yes, he is a great doctor and most likely would have fully cured my kidney disease, which they said was uncurable. That's what the medical doctor said. See, it's not because chiropractors can't cure kidney disease with a couple adjustments. Of course they can. I just, I just didn't have enough time. One or two more little pops of the lumbar vertebrae. <laughs> Most likely would have cured the kidney disease, but I had to get out of there. Didn't have enough time. Now, a lot of people out there were calling me specifically a liar. And I really, I do not like people that lie. I do not like people that lie. I do not like people that lie. They're I telling do us. not like people that lie. I do not like people that lie. I do not like people that lie. I do not like people that lie. He's gonna die in four weeks. I do not like people that lie. I do not like people that lie. I do not like people that lie. I do not like I don't know what to do. <laughs> my brother. It's one of my things that I literally specifically don't do. I do not lie. I try my best at every single angle to not lie. And I think everyone out there should as well. <laughs> oh man, I love this sentence. I don't, <laughs> just listen to, listen to it one more time. I do not like people that lie. It's one of my things that I literally specifically don't do i do not lie i try my best at every single angle to not lie and i think everyone out there should as well guys lying is bad you should literally specifically not lie from any angles literally spe just stop lying literally specifically don't do it because literally specifically if you lie then that means you're literally specifically a liar and i that's bad from every angle I don't care what angle you're literally specifically lying from, but the angles are going to be bad if you're literally specifically lying. Come on, just don't do it. Lying is bad! So now, I want to show you guys, and this isn't to prove anything, this is for our loyal fans out there that actually genuinely do care about me and want to know what is going on. I mean, I think at this point, I'm pretty much classified as a loyal fan. I mean, I do want to know what's going on, and I've watched every one of your uploads in the last two months which may have only been like three videos, but I've still, I've been there for it, so. Files in this folder right now of tests that I did um, from doctors and what they were saying to me, what was actually wrong with me, so. So in their initial we're quitting YouTube because we're dying video, Johnny, whatever, talked about his kidney problems and that's fine. And then Tommy chimed in and was like, yeah, I'm dying of vertigo. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you, it's been two months and that's, you know, that, that hasn't gotten old yet. So I pretty much went to doctor after doctor. I went to surgeon. I went to a neurosurgeon and he did an MRI scan on me. And he said that there was absolutely nothing wrong with me. And he was telling me that it's all in my head. Now, this is a wow. guy that I thought was very respected in this world. So now Tommy goes on for a few minutes, again, trying to convince us that he was, I guess, dying. And he does so by telling us he went to see a bunch of doctors and specialists and took MRIs and tests, all saying that there was nothing wrong with him. So, uh, wait, why Why is he telling us that? So, it's kind of like, imagine you had eye cancer. You had cancer behind your eyes, so you couldn't actually see it, but it's there. And then you go into the doctors, and they do scans on you, and they tell you it's not there. And you can feel the physical pain every single day, and you're getting told it's not there. That's kind of like what I have gone through. I'm sorry, what? It's kind of like, imagine you had eye cancer. You had cancer behind your eyes, so you couldn't actually see it, but it's there. So imagine you have eye cancer. You go to the doctor, they do a bunch of scans. Great news, guess what? You don't have eye cancer. But my eye still hurts. That's, that's exactly what it's like when no one believes you're dying of vertigo. Perfect parallel. So they said my hearing was within normal limits in both ears, which I wasn't surprised at because I knew that I could hear properly. So I was like, I don't get why I would have a hearing problem. Compelling info, go on. My timpamanamanamana, no one knows what that word is. <laughs> I don't even know what that word is to this day, but pretty much my inner ears were perfect. They're saying, you know what? Your ears are perfect, buddy. You have no hearing problems. I'm like, great. Why am I dizzy? Yikes, dude. That must be devastating. God. Perfect hearing? His eardrums are fine? My God, can someone please subscribe to this man before he dies? I went down the same path as Johnny again, and we went to a Chinese doctor. He tried to give me, um, teas, and I was like, okay, well, maybe tea can actually fix my vertigo, my pimples, and my migraines, and my pains, and my <laughs> nausea. And, uh, yeah, they didn't. What a surprise. <laughs> Listen, it was worth a shot. I mean, when times are desperate and you're about to shut down your YouTube channel because you're dying, 
Sometimes a Chinese tea doctor doesn't sound like such a bad option after all. I forgot to tell you guys, with the help, uh, with the natural approach, he actually did a gut test on my gut. And as you guys can see here, my scans were off the chart. My gut was in such a terrible state that I don't even know how I was alive with these kind of stuff. <laughs> how could I forget the leaky gut that would have given him cancer and would have given him all types of diseases if he didn't get the leaky gut fixed by Dr. Bergman? I have a gut that is leaking. I really was dying. I was about to develop cancer. I was about to develop liver diseases and all sorts of things like that. My gut was in such a terrible state that I don't even know how I was alive with these kinds of stuff. <laughs> how do you how do you watch that back and not edit it out of the final video? I mean, you had a chance to stop yourself from looking like an absolute idiot and you left it in. You, no one to blame but yourself. I forgot to tell you guys. I've got a leaky gut. gut Can I get a gut, test gut, for this gut, gut right here? I bet this thing would scan off the charts. All that late night snacking I do, it's amazing. I'm still alive with the terrible state that gut is in. It came to the same path once again as Johnny. We went to Dr. Gentlemen. Bergman in California, and this guy is an amazing guy. He, he just loves everyone. For the love of Pete, would you guys just blow the dude already? In the off chance that you haven't yet. <laughs> He's helping little kids that are autistic and when you see these kids come in, because we were there for three months and we saw a kid come in and completely autistic, their arm is spazzing, their leg spazzing. Oh boy, Tommy. Tommy, please don't. I'm begging you, just, just don't. And three months later, they can actually function relatively normal. It's crazy when we actually saw this happen, so... Whew, that was, uh, okay, he didn't use the word cure. I was worried he was going to say he cures... Dr. Bergman was curing autism, but he's helping kids with autism. That's, I'm gonna give that one a pass. But now the conclusion. Where are we at right now? Now this is a huge thing that everyone out there has been asking questions. Where are we at? How are we health wise right now? And Johnny, tell them right now. What I wanna say is we are feeling so much better thanks to Dr. Bergman, but no, we are not fully cured yet. Wait, if Dr. Bergman didn't cure you, what happened? You guys are looking incredible. For a couple of brothers that were about to die just two months ago, you're looking remarkably chipper right now. What is the secret? The person that has been there all this time that we should have had our faith in, not doctors, not specialists, not anyone of this world, the person that we have put our faith into, his name is Jesus Christ. Now that is what we have done just recently. We have literally put our sicknesses into Jesus Christ's hands. And as you guys know, if you've read the Bible or if you know anything about Jesus, he is a healer. He can heal you because he is the son of God. He can do miracles and literally do whatever he wants. So we have put our faith in him and I tell you right now, yes, I might still have a little bit of Odema left, but I feel no pain. Jesus took my pain away and I'm dead serious right now. I tell you guys the truth. Leaky gut scans, vertigo, Kidney disease, <laughs> it's a valiant effort, Dr. Bergman, but we don't need your services rendered anymore because we got JC in our corner and we got a little divine healing going on over here. Every single day, I just feel so powerful with Jesus in my life. I feel so strong. I feel like nothing can ever take me down because I have Jesus. And if you guys out there right now don't have Jesus, we, we, we're we going to pray for all of you guys. We're going to pray for you guys and we hope that you do try your best to find Jesus in your life. Okay, so this video took a hard turn into a very righteous direction. Um, and I am not in the business of bashing religion. I think you should believe in whatever makes you feel good, whatever makes you happy, uh, as long as you're not hurting anyone else and you're still tolerant of other people. But it does seem awfully convenient, you know what I mean? Eight weeks ago, we were dying, definitely. We're not lying about that. We were gonna die. Vertigo, leaky gut, dead. JC hooked it up, bro. JC came through in the clutch. Not dead anymore. In fact, we're feeling great. Be sure to like and subscribe. You know what? I will say, they haven't done an iPhone giveaway in this one, which, that's a huge step in the right direction. The first two were dying videos, iPhone giveaways. This one, it's like out of all the things and critiques I tried to make in my videos, I think they might have taken that one to heart. And that feels good that I could do that for them. Don't do iPhone giveaways, especially fake ones, which I'm sure they are, uh, in, your, in your very serious videos. I'm, I'm glad they're, it's a stride in the right direction. You send us an inbox on Instagram, any And questions. what we are gonna do is try and respond to as many of you guys as we possibly can. We're gonna have conversations. We're gonna try and teach as many of you guys the truth uh, uh, to life. 
on Instagram. I will say it is comforting knowing that if we're having trouble, you or I, finding the truth to life, we can just inbox Extreme Games on Instagram. And they will teach us the truth to life. This is good news. I feel like we should take full advantage. Honestly, if you got to this point in the video, we love you with all our heart. We seriously do. Aw. I love you too. Also, we're going to probably be coming out with merch soon, so get ready to that. It's going to be absolutely sick. I hope you guys are as pumped as we are. Hold on. Extreme Games merch is coming out? <laughs> yes! So we love you all. Seriously, we do. We do. We want you guys to know Jesus Christ also loves you as well. But we'll see you guys in the next one. See you later, guys. Let's see you later, guys. Bye. That is nightmare fuel. Watch that one more time. Let's see you later, guys. Bye. So that was it for that one, and as we wind down this trilogy of Leon Lush Extreme Games videos, a couple of final thoughts, I think. So two months goes by, and they upload this video, and it's like exactly like the last response they made, which is to say they basically avoided addressing pretty much all of the criticisms that were sent their way, and just tried to prove to everyone that they really were sick, and now Jesus is healed. No one ever questioned if they were sick. We understand you were dealing with some health issues. It's the fact that you blew that way out of proportion, made it sound like you were dying, threw in the iPhone giveaway in order to get those clicks and those views, right? And it worked. Now, it's never my intention to bring down people's YouTube channels. I just like to keep people honest. And in your case, it looks like you kind of did it to yourself. 4.1 million subscribers, you get 30,000 views in over 24 hours. That's pretty terrible and it's pretty indicative of what happens. And listen to this, kids, if you want to be a YouTuber, if you try and build your channel around getting subscribers through fake giveaways and manipulating kids into clicking subscribe, thinking they have a chance to win something, well, a couple years down the road when shit hits the fan, nobody's gonna be there for that because you're br you're building no brand loyalty. They're subscribing because they want something. They're not subscribing because they like your content. It just doesn't work. And you see that here, 4.1 million subs, 30,000 views. Their channel's deader than Michael Jackson. And it's probably, it's no secret the way they carry themselves, why this has happened to them. The worst part is I don't think they were intentionally being deceitful and manipulative. I think they were just doing it thinking this is normal. This is what goes on on YouTube because these are younger kids that were raised in the YouTube generation and this is so commonplace seeing people employ these kind of tactics that it just probably seemed normal to them so when they got a bunch of backlash they didn't know what to do and couldn't figure out why because they didn't really do it on purpose they just thought that was the right way to be a youtuber and that's the scariest part to me so tommy and johnny i hope the leaky guts and the kidneys stay cradled in the arms of jesus until they are fully healed but i hope one day you look back on this time in your life this experience of these last few months and you think to yourself man what the hell were we thinking back then but until then i beg of you stop addressing this and stop trying to defend yourself because you just make yourself look worse and worse and worse with every new video you put out about this particular thing just go back to making that fire content you were making before this whole thing went down. Guys, we're currently giving away an iPhone 7 and 30 Google Play cards and 30 iTunes cards. If you want to win any of these, all you have to do is subscribe right now. It'll take two seconds of your time. Scroll down, press subscribe. If you're not subscribed, you can't be entered. So make sure you're subscribed right now. That's the good shit, baby! All right, guys, well, that concludes the Extreme Games trilogy. I do appreciate your time and I appreciate you watching. I feel like at this point, we've really beaten all the meat off of the horse or beaten off the horse's meat. I f oh, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new, and then put on a parachute, yank the ripcord, and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. And don't forget... See you later, guys. guys. See you later, guys. See you later, guys.